Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And I started making my um my AE2 auto crafting system. And then I thought might as well let you guys in on what I'm doing. It's going slowly because obviously I'm not a hundred percent on what I'm doing. But you know, that's how we learn, right? At least that's how I learn. So, um, supposed to be a cuboid. I want it 3D. So basically, all I've done, I've put in my terminals here. I'm going to put in, um, I need to go back one more because I want the cables to go behind it. Okay. One, two, three. So that block in the middle is where I want stuff to go. And then the cables go behind here. I think that's as far as I want it to go, right? And then one, two, right. So we have that, Got our cable. Now should I be using the glass cable or should I be using like dense cables and stuff? I don't know. I really don't know. I probably should be. Yeah. All right, we'll see how it goes. Right, so I know that you need crafting storage and you need crafting, and you need the molecular assembler and the ME interfaces, right? So storage. I've got 364K. 216k and 34k. I should make another 16k crafting storage. Uh, 16. Right, so I need one of these, and I'm missing the fours, I'm missing the ones, two, three. Right, I need 12 of those, make the fours. Right, one, two, three. Then I need three of those to make the 16. And then I want the storage unit. We need a crafting unit. Right. So for the crafting storage, did I have to go this? No, I can. All right, so I know it's valid because it's changed. I probably should have come forward and then if I need to add, I would add onto the back. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I shouldn't say that. We've got that going, All right? So. Uh, oh no, that's going to get from there. Right, and on the other side, we want the molecular assemblers and put the ME interface next to it. Those nine patterns. I wrote notes. I was watching a. This is the ME interface. I was watching a, a video. Seven, that's not going to make me cuboid shape, is it? I'd need nine. All right, let's make two more. Emmy interface, molecular assembler. So I was watching a video, I made notes, molecular. And we'll see how good my notes are. And how much I actually understood. Because this is the only way I'm going to get it if I keep doing it. Uh, molecular assembler, ME interface, ME interface. Oh, we've run out of um, formation and, oh, we want Fluix dust. Fluix dust is Fluix crystal, one charge Certis quartz, one nether stone. Okay. All right, one, we want charge Certis quartz. 
I think you can use these as well. Pretty sure I use those. We'll see. And another Chris, another the uh, redstone. Right, let's see what we can do. Oh, I put in a door. I forgot to show you guys. I was so intent on. Oh, let's start recording. Um. Yeah, I put in a door. Because uh, this room's going to have my power in it as well. I'm going to put the reactor over here. So that's why I enlarged it. And um, I've got a cute button on the side. <laughs> because I can. Alright, so let's try this. Lotus quartz and redstone. I don't know if it's going to work. Is it doing something? Hold on, let me make sure my magnet is off. The magnet is off. Try again. Put the all on the hotbar. You there, you there, you there. Probably not going to work. And run away. No, it needs nether quartz. Uh, um. Try that one more time. No, def definitely needs nether quartz. Right, how do we get nether quartz again? It's probably from sieving netherrack. Um, nether quartz. Sieving. Oh no, soul sand. Is it just soul sand or compressed soul sand? Alright, I have. I got half a stack of soul sand. Put you there. And. Compress that. That's not going to get us very much. But we really just want a couple, right? Oh. oh. You get tons. You get absolutely tons. Oh, I shouldn't have worried about that. You get tons. Um, Right, let's put the compressed dust in there. What are we missing? Oh, is that a ghast tier? Oh. Uh, put you in, put you in. A ghast here, nice. And what's that? Salt? That looks like it might be salt. Yes. So from our mess, are we? Oh, you get plenty. Oh, that's fine. So we're gonna have to. Right. So we want. Can we get a stack? Um, fourteen. Let's just get a stack anyway. Right. Let me charge these. I will be back in a second when I've got the Fluix dust. Okay, I made the dust. I made the dust, but I can't remember what I was supposed to be making. What were we making? Um, uh, da, 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 da. Molecular assembler, ME interface. We needed one more ME interface. So we needed... Um, we made one core, I think. No, we didn't make any. All right, formation core and annihilation core. That's it. So molecular. No, it's the ME interface. All right, so we have nine of each. Now, can is it? It depends on which side it's on, or does it have to be? But in order for this to work, you would have to have we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that works. And then can I also... Is it going to work this way too? Nope. Uh, okay. Um, now can we name these? No. Alright, so we got these, but we can't get to the patterns in the back. Now that is pattern terminal. All right, let's make a pattern. Um, annihilation core. And that's annihilation, right? Formation, annihilation. The pattern terminal, the interface terminal. I've put those there. Do they turn up here? No. They don't turn up anywhere. So that means then 
I need to access the ones in the back. Okay. There's my patterns. I'm guessing this has to be in a cuboid as well. But so that you have this wall staying there. I will the uh, cable. Right. That no, I didn't need to do that. Yeah, that's joined. Right, let's have, let's leave that for now. I don't if I need more, I will add more. But I know I can add them. Okay. So put those there, those two patterns. And now if I want to use craftable. Right, we're missing something. Right, crafting monitors. So what's the crafting monitor for? Crafting unit, crafting crope. I need this as well. So that's the thing that actually does the crafting. All right, so let's put these in the middle. Crafting. All right, what did what did Cube say about crafting pro cart crafting unit crafting co-processing? Each crafting co-processive co-processing unit is added added to a crafting CPU multi-block. Crafting unit can either be a filler, and the crafting CPU is a multi-block single crafting storage block. Okay, so I can add the coprocessors to this. Right. All right, how many coprocessors? We've got three. Oh, did I break the cables? All right, that might make sense. Ah, there you go. So that is working. So then, craftable, so I can craft one. Uh, where's the craft? Wasn't there a monitor terminal? Storage bus, import bus. Right, um, view. That's uh, core. You've got. Oh. Okay, can you shift? I just shift click that into my inventory. I don't know. Yes, I did. Okay, so that is working. Right, so then that makes it faster. And then in order to connect these up so it just looks pretty, I could after unit crafting monitors. What's the crafting unit do again? All right, it can be used as filler. All right, so if I just want to make it look like it's all connected, yeah. Okay, but it would still be there. All right, the molecular assembler or assemblers there. It's five, so why does it say four? I don't know. But it's there and it's working I would have to put in facades so that and they're not so good in facades I don't know what I want to put or maybe I could just put blocks of not so good around the edge so at least then it looks like it's a thing it was intended like that I don't know and I don't like this overhang either, but we can we can pretty up at some point. All right, but we have multi crafting, multi crafting, auto crafting. I need um, I need torches. Way to go, Shay. Pick it up, right? Um, F seven. Ah, oh, it's all right. It just looks dark, but it's not dark. Right. Well, that was relatively painless that was kind of painless because all right so if we need if we need more crafting we would have to add it on here we'll probably go up yeah okay I, I, I think we're okay i think we're okay right let's put all of these back in 
Can I take these out? Yes, I can. Right, so now power. We need to go back to power. Right, did I finish this? We did finish this, didn't we? This is, yeah. Right, so power to the person. So we wanted to make energizing rod hardened. Hardened capacitor. All right, so let's harden capacitor. Okay, so we need, we can only make six dielect, dielectric, pa dielectric paste. Dielectric paste. All right. Um, all right, I think what I might do is just make one of each. All right. One of each rod and get this out the way. Um, okay, energizing rod hardened. How many rods do we have? We have three. If we make three of each, then we can upgrade our stuff. Uh, uh, energizing rod? Oh, we need the previous one. Okay. I keep forgetting I've got to press on the button. There's no plate. Ah, uh, take you off, take you off, and take you off. And when I put it in, it will lose its the power, unfortunately. We have some guests in the hotel. Alright, time for you to check out, sir. And you, madam. Thank you for staying with us. Oh, what? Uh, what? I didn't know anything could spawn there. Brought you up later. All right, hardened rod, block of quartz. All right, we can get nine. That's not going to get us very far. Why? Find the right terminal, right? Why doesn't this work? Hardened, energizing rod basic. Oh, starter. We need the basic rods. Ah, uh, basic rods. All right, one. All right. Now we want the hardened. I just put in rod, it should bring up all of them. So we got stated, we got, oh, got hardened. Now we want, nope. From hardened it goes, oh, starter. Starter was the next one we were supposed to do. Yeah, starter. And we've run out of, we've run out of quartz again. Nope, that one. Nope. Got basic. I want starter. I've just gone and confused myself. Right, I want hardened. Alright, that was weird. Oh, we got one more basic left. Okay. Got hardened, and now we want blazing. Now, how do you get blazing? Blazing capacitor, blazing crystal, which is blaze rods. Or blaze pack. How do you make blaze rods? Casting table, mob drops, okay. Uh, blazing. The uh, blazing crystals. Blaze powder, four blaze powder gives you a blazing crystal. You don't have that much blaze powder. All right, so let's amend. Yeah, let's amend this. Right, let me amend this. Let me start it up and I will be back in a second. Okay, I've made I made one blazing crystal. Um, I got the reward. It gave me 19 more, I think. So that should be enough. If I just do one of each, it should be okay. A blazing rod. Right, so blazing rods so we need two blazing capacitors and then one blazing rod and that gets us another blazing rod and more blazing capacitors and then niotic which is diamond i say so for the niotic crystal it is one diamond to one crystal right, that's still plugging away and that is struggling yeah, this is why we need power. Well, then maybe what we should do 
is um what we got so far blazing if we do a blazing reactor what do we need for that uh blazing all right magmata fernator thermal generator reactor blazing so you need need four of those and you need need six sets so what are we missing we need blazing capacitors no ender gate no capacitors there we go yeah i'm pretty sure you need 36 to make the um to make the reactor there's the manual uh for reactor okay we need 36 okay yeah we need 36 right let me go and make 36 because this is going to take it's going to take a while um how many do we have in here four yeah it's going to take a while let me oh you see how it, they have this on the floor it's showing you if you can once it turns green it could turn it into a um a reactor but obviously we don't have enough so let me keep plugging away and i will come back when we've got the reactor okay that took a while but i've got all my blocks now as you can see it's not it doesn't like uh anywhere that you can't um put down the reactor it's going to be red but if it's valid it'll be green and i want it to go and of course it's off by one isn't it yeah let's just clear this oh you know what i could have just gone this way uh. oh, there you go right um i made facades you can see there's facades over here it looks a bit better but now that just looks wonky and off-centered so i'm going to pull it across but not right now let's just concentrate on what we're supposed to be doing which is power um i think i want to no i want it flush with the wall you put it down and it makes it automatically which is awesome so now that is on where's where torches oh the torches I have lanterns actually well I do actually have lanterns okay and I should really have some kind of pattern but I haven't worked out what the pattern is yet and there's got to be better ways to make lights to be honest Oh, you know what? Um, there is better ways to make lights. I will do it at some point. You'll see. Um, they've got light strip lighting that goes along the walls and stuff. Those I like, and it's bright, so we'll do those. Right, back to power. So, make sure auto mode is on because that's brilliant. We need uraninite on top. We need uh coal. We need redstone and we need water. Should put in some dry ice, but I don't have that yet. Really? Slam the door in my face. Um do I have should have checked that first. No water in can you put in snow? Is that valid? I don't think snow is valid. Well, we could try it um bucket we do have a bucket of water i didn't have to leave the room i'm just used to like you put that in and then you don't have to worry about that again i used to think can we put snow in here is that oh it is oh nice okay uh right so what i want to do and again, hats off to Pilpo because I'm totally nicking this idea of him. Um, we need redstone, we need coal, we need uraninite. 
and we have all of those as generators generators yes they're not so good in generators so what i'm going to do to kick start it or no we don't need to because we got it on this side to kick start it i'm going to put in what we need coal um but we need the coal generator as well redstone and you ran no this is the same problem he ran into when you make uraninite it makes poor uraninite you need this kind of uraninite so he had to put a furnace underneath it so i'm gonna have to work that one out so just to kick start it put in the coal uh put in the redstone and put in uraninite and it's working and we're making power look at that let's see I, I i do like power as a um as a mod because it's quite simple there's no faffing around with stuff and whatever all right redstone we don't want that so that's generating power now there is a way to wirelessly do we have those um was it simple cells cell the one with the power cell things mm, i don't think so i don't think so they're not in here okay um power has wireless energy all right this is full it's fine so how do you make wireless what is it there's some kind of end or something the items functional blocks energizing player and energy hopper no storage and transfer ender gates ender cells ender cells and ender gates An ender cell is a block used to store energy and you can access the energy okay you can add capacity okay but then the ender gates they transfer energy between the adjacent block and the ender network the adjacent block okay so they do 100 fe per tick basic is 14a by 18 okay so it would make sense to have blazing ender gates okay unlike the ender cell you cannot upgrade the network from it okay okay so if we put adjacent blocks so if we put an ender cell on the side if we put a battery and then an ender cell and then wherever we want energy we put the ender cells that should trans that should transmit it right so let's make some energy blocks uh cell no we don't want the ender cells energy cell starter we have one of those yes and then it goes up to basic we need another starter energy cell we need more basic capacitors all right we have starter we need another starter and then we want a basic one then we want basic what a hardened one oh we need to make two of each each time okay um basic hardened right let me starter basic hardened oh did we not get hardened and then blazing and we need another blazing capacitor and we need more blazing crystals and another bla i did i i can't count it just goes up exponentially each time maybe we just we could just stick with the blazing but i want the heart i want the 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 
I want the other one. I'll be back. <laughs> right. That was a faff. But we have a blazing energy cell. Right? So if we put that there, that's filling up. This is doing its thing. Let's make a stack of snow. We have a stack of snow. Right, so it's doing its thing. Alright, so there's that. And now we need an ender gate. Alright, so if we want a blazing ender gate, ender core. Or do you need an ender core to start it off? Uh, ender gate. Yes, we do. And then to upgrade it, we need obsidian, energy cable, basic. We need to. M oh, you can't. Okay. So to make a blazing one, we need blazing energy cable. More blazing crystals and blazing capacitors. Okay. And I made the exact amount of blazing crystals. I have to go make some more. Oh my days, this is... This is... Alright. But once we've got it, that makes 12. We just need two ender gates. When you make the ender gate, it makes four. We just need two. Alright. I'll be back. I've come back in because I've just realised... We didn't look at what a blazing core need, an ender core needs. I have ender, dielectric casing, basic capacitor. So, ender. Right, I have ender, we can make that. A tiny capacitor. We have six left of those, so we've got one of those. And dielectric casing. I need to start making more of that stuff as well. Those switches come from the switch, the gauge, gauges and switches mod, which is an absolutely awesome mod because they have some really fun switches in there. Makes a change from just a lever or a button. All right, so that goes in, that goes in, that goes in. All right, it's going fast because it was, oh, it's done. It's done. There was stuff stored in it. So we have our ender core. Actually, we should look and see if we get anything from these quests. Um, All powerful. I don't think it does, though. Oh, we, no, we did that. No rewards. I don't think you get rewards from these. Oh, you do. Really? That's what I get for not checking. That is what I get for not... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get ender cores for making the ender cells. Get five ender cores. One, two, three, four. Okay. And the energy cable, if we make the energy cables, we get back cables. Okay, which is handy for crafting. All right, well, that's good to know. And you get back ender gates. All right, that's good to know. So I am going to, that's a hardened edge and, and, uh, and I can't. If we turn this into, yeah, hardened is fine. All right, does that mean I have to? No, nope. still sees it. Did that break the network? No, I don't think it did. Why is there no energy going into it? Okay. That extract. You know what? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll have to check it at some point. Because I probably just broke it. I probably shouldn't have just switched it out. Um, right. I'll be back. Okay, I've come back in. I went in to make the base, the starter ender gate. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because it says I have all the stuff. But I can't pull it out of the... Alright, um... 
obsidian. Okay. Pull you out. That is rather bizarre. It won't, it wouldn't let me pull it out. All right, enter gate starter. Yep, definitely not letting me pull it out. All right, let's bookmark you. Oh, I've got a crafting table in my backpack. Um, want that. That is bizarre. I don't know why it wouldn't let me pull it out. But that is, that's just something to be aware of. Obviously, it seems to work in a normal crafting table, but not with the ME crafting terminal, which is strange. All right, I'll be back. All right, I have all the stuff now. Again, not letting me pull it out. That is absurd, uh, and I'm not. Oh. Let's try that again. Uh, blazing that. Now put it into my inventory. I've got too many black things in my inventory. I can't tell what's what. Because I did make um facades. Black concrete facade. I think it's a little too black. It should be like grey concrete or something. But I found that when it was just a not so goodium, it just looked a bit the bleh, bleh. It needed something to define it, so that's what I did. Right, um, crafting table and dot starter. Oh, blazing. There you go. Uh, maybe I have to do, do the others. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, that's that. If I put you here. Oh, but do they have does it do i have to like i didn't think about this oh there's something you need to charge isn't there or something um facing north or why is it not why is <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Not as intuitive as I thought it would be. Oh, on that. North. Extract. Leave. Off. Both. All is in, in right. So that should be. All right. Let me. I might have to go and uh, the, the, the door face. All right, so if we put that on there, we go in, it's, that is not seeing. Okay, it's not seeing that, which is fine. Backpack, I have to turn off the backpack. Now, if I put it on this, there's something that needs to connect the two, though. Let's see if the power book says anything. Uh, ender gates. All right, maybe we need to look at the ender cell. Okay, ender cell is a block. Access the energy. A selected channel. You add capacity by shift clicking an energy cell or a battery to the okay. Maybe what we need to do then we shift kit. No. Probably right there in front of me. And I um a capacity to select a channel by shift clicking an energy cell or battery to the oh, okay, to the ender cell GUI. So we do that. No, maybe it's the. Does it have to be the one that you're going to use? Which would make sense. That would make sense that you use. Uh, hardened. That's the one that we want to use.
Oh, shift click. Shift click. One. No. All right, this is where I go and look at a, um, a thing. Because, or maybe that was it, I don't know. So that's there. Door, come out. There. Still not getting it. All right, let me go find some kind of explanation because it's probably something very simple and I just haven't is this receiving it has power all right let me go have a look I will be back again that's all I seem to be doing this this particular episode I'm just going backwards and forwards but we will get there I'll be back okay um I went looking for some something to help me I think I've worked it out now I think the problem was I went and made two energy cells. I should have made an ender cell. So I think that's what the problem was. I made the ender cell. Is it? Yeah, made the ender cell. And it's up against the port here. Right? Then when you have. Let me see if I can make a basic energy cell. Uh, energy. Do I have a basic one? Yes. There's nothing in it. Right. So when you have an energy cell in your inventory, you click on a channel. Then when you hit shift, it will highlight what you can click into there because you have to click the energy cell into the ender cell and that will give it extra it will give it something to hold the energy right so um basic energy cell if i shift click it in that channel now holds one million fe and the maximum it can put out is 20k right this holds 10 million this holds 10 million because there's two there's two energy cells in there the blazing energy cells all right so theoretically, you could have 50 million in this ender cell holding in there, right? Then you take, when you have your ender gate, look, no, it's not going to go on there because it's not energy. It's smart. So over here, I've put the energy cell on here. It's a hardened energy cell. Put the ender gate on here. And it should be, it should be slowly draining. Oh, because it can only take eight, eight thousand fe per tick. But it's going in slowly. I hear you. I don't know where you've gone, but I hear you. So then it should be able, it should be pulling the power into this. As far as I can see this is full let me take these away uh, uh, oh could I have done that I don't know if I should have done that that's going up or down that's going down right three two yeah that's going down that's going into this I should have had one under here as well Why did I come round this side? Oh, good days. Energy cell starter. Right, let's shove you in here. I take you off from here. Put you here. And now you're filling up. You're filling or draining? That's draining. But you're filling because you're powering this. And if I put one here, now you're filling. So it is working. Definitely working. Okay. Right, so that, those are working. 
these are filled up so then if we want did i no i took them off didn't i if i wanted to make one to one isn't it so that's going that's holding that's holding and that's holding that is good it's not going blazingly fast but we'll probably have to change it for the faster cables i don't know that's 400 okay that oh, i i can't convert okay that did a thing right so take this out yes oh my days that was that was more trouble than it was worth definitely more trouble than it was worth that's all i keep saying more trouble than it was worth um where are we power to the person okay so we want to upgrade the blazing rods and get Biotic blazing. All right, let's take you from the bottom. Actually, while no, we won't do that while we're waiting. While we're waiting, the the other one, the the what comes after niotic? Right. Um, how many? Oh, we got fifteen. And we want niotic, niotic, niotic rods, niotic rod, niotic capacitors. All right, how many do we get back for that? Between four and eight, and we need the niotic rods. Uh, we got six. What are we missing now? Blocks of quartz. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we want four. One. What are we missing now? Oh. Two. Uh, is that the right one? Harden, harden, harden. I want blazing. Did I have any more blazing rods? No. Okay. That's fine. That's done. Get an extra one. That's three. Now, did I put in... Ah, I didn't put in the emerald while we... Oh, no. Because I wanted to up... I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh, I've renamed... We now have the Outpost 42 Hotel, because we always have people checking in. And like the Hotel California, you never check out. I'm sure that joke has been done to death, but I like it. Right. Uh, okay. This is very steep learning curve. But once we've done it, we've done it. And it will be easier the next time. Right, so you're filling up. That's nice. Let me put a diamond. And you're going. These are keeping up. And then I guess if I check the reactor, that's the real test. Okay, the reactor's keeping up. The reactor's fine. All right, right. What I was doing while I was waiting, um, I put in on top. Let me take out some of the ore so you can see. I put it on top so that because then I don't have to access it. Put hover back on. There is a not so good em singularity generator because it doesn't have to be fast because once it's full it's full and that is generating coal for the top so that's going in and i don't think the sides actually matter because it will go into the appropriate slot 
So that's there. And I just filled in everything because we don't need it anymore. And also these things generate light. I didn't realize that. It's only when you cover it up you realize, oh, there's no light. But they generate light. So that's that. Take hover off. Um, on this side, I want to put in the redstone. So I was about to get the redstone um, to make the generator. How much do you need again? Uh, 160. So that is two and a half stacks. Two, three. And that's that. So on this side, we can put in singularity generator the redstone that's there and that's now generating so that should drop into the hopper yep there you go and that will fill up this as needed uh the snow blocks i would have to hmm i guess i would have to get a um how much snow do we have in here you can always get a hopper it doesn't seem to go through the slow the slow the snow very quickly so you know we can can we put a chest directly up against it let's get a hopper let's also get a chest a normal chest will do because you don't need a lot of snow right, let's see can we chest it I didn't mean to say it like that. Why did I move around? No, chesting it is not working. They might as well just use the hopper. Doesn't make sense trying to get fancy with it. Yeah, that went in. And then on this side, I'm going to put... There are... Um, what do you call these things? Furnaces. Yeah, you have emerald furnaces, got the rainbow furnace. Wonder how fast the emerald furnace is. And is there a quest for that? Let's make the first furnace and see if there's a quest. This what the iron furnace mod? Alright. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Yes. I think it's because this is on JEI Synchronized Standard Keep. I just do auto search. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's because it's on um, JE, JE, whatever. JEI Synchronized Keep. Ah, there you go. I thought it was a bug. Not a bug. Uh, we want Iron Furnace, Iron. And of course we just want JE Synchronized at Iron Furnace. Alright, so the first one is an Iron one. Do that. Yes, it is a quest. Where is that quest? That's the next thing. Uh, where the way? Uh, energy transfer, moving items. Chests and drawers? No. <laughs> From water to liver to lithium dust, water palaver. That sounds like something Hector would say. Hector Vink. Everything is quite palavery, if that's a word. All right, I don't know where, I don't know where the, not any of those top ones, base the rainbow. Okay, base the rainbow. We, no, we don't get anything out of these. All right, let's make the rest. Uh, iron to gold furnace upgrade. It's better just to do that. Gold block. And that's you. And gold to diamond. Uh, diamond furnace. 
and emerald furnace. Emerald. Would help if I could spell. Oh no, that's correct. I just didn't put the D. Uh, emerald furnace. Okay, that is brilliant. So if we put our emerald furnace here, we put um need another hopper. Do we need yes, we need a hopper underneath. And we need a we need a generator not so good. -ium. And we need uraninite. Alright, so it's not going here. Not going here. Where are you going? All right, so we are going to need the hopper. All right now, this has um. Oh, this has, this has a a, a thing. Oh, auto input. True. But then will it hop? Oh. Nope. Well, that's that's dropping down pretty quick. Oh, because it's sharing the coal. Oh, that's quite, quite funny. No, it's not funny. Actually, auto input, output true. So where are you outputting? You're not outputting. All right, so we're going to have to move this across. Because it needs to go into this port. All right, that's back up. Yeah, we need to move this across. If we move it across one, but then it's not going to get the coal either. Uh, do we have all of our? Unless I no. Oh. I gotta think about where I want to put it now. Unless we put it from the top as well. All right, gotta think about where I want to put that. Let's go see if our emerald is finished because that's basically what I'm waiting on. Yes. Aha, spirited crystal. Oh, those gave you. What's that crystal? Diamond crystal furnace. Five times faster. Oh. Right, but not interested in that right now. Um, so they want uh, spirited rods and then the nitro rod, nitro crystal, and we need nether stars. So the next logical step after this would be industrial foregoing because we need to get the um, the wither thing. Okay, I am not going to upgrade these right right now. I will change this so that we can at least um and what I'll do I'll make the niotic crystals. Is this niotic? Spirited crystals. So then I can change the reactor to a spirited reactor. Right? Then that's the only thing. You don't use the old casings, but never mind. I'll change it so that it's a spirited reactor. Then I will then we we can we'll have more power and the next episode we will do industrial we'll start industrial foregoing. And hopefully that'll be a lot more straightforward than this. Ah, right. So today, what did we do? We did power. We've got a, we got our reactor going, we got our our things going, and we got auto crafting. So we did, you know, there's quite a few major milestones. I mean, it was a bit, a bit faffy, but we got there in the end. And we did the ender gates. That was also very faffy, but we got there in the end. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.